showtime. Ladies and gentlemen, please make your way to your seats. Showtime. Please make your way to your seats. The show is about to begin. Showtime. Let the magic begin. So you know how we have pipelines that that transport natural gas, oil, all that sort of stuff. This is smart. Makes sense. Why not build a conveyor belt or track system to move freight containers, right? Like duh, we've you can probably like if we're building these highways, why not include a a system like this, then you eliminate transport trucks, you eliminate trains, the need, uh, less need for transport and trains. And it, this, we're not just talking like a short distance. We're talking 310 mile conveyor belt slash track system. I like the concept. One possible use is mass conveyor belts to cover 500 kilometers, 310 mile distance between two cities running alongside the highway. A 500 kilometer tunnel, mind you, would be insanely expensive, somewhere yeah. about 23 billion before any conveyor belts are factored in. So, so I guess they want to make it underground or in a tunnel for environmental protection from rain and wind and dust and people and crap. I think, yeah, well, there's a couple options, right? So, you know how we talked about those autonomous uh, train things that or those vehicles that went on train tracks? Yeah, we are uh, maglev. Maglev. Oh yeah, it was maglev. Yeah, something <laughs> like they could do that. They could. That's they, what I'm like, thinking. So we're building this new Highway 413. Apparently, what's good moving forward? Why not incorporate something on the side or very close to it? Build this at the same time, even on top of the road that has rails or something that is weatherproof for or things like that. And I don't know, just an just an idea. I want to call it a conveyor belt because I think using yeah. something like um, the iron lev technology, which would you could deploy some train tracks or use existing train tracks uh, yeah. and deploy a low energy ma maglev solution on those tracks to cart anything back and forth. Yeah. Um, where the energy is just involved in pushing it, not lifting it. We talked about that in the past and it requires no magnets on the track. So yeah. it's like, interesting. I was just I was just thinking even between Toronto and Cambridge Kitchener, right? Because even Amazon, they have these warehouses and having this kind of a system in between Walmart's warehouses, Amazon's warehouses, Canadian Tire's warehouses, right? Like it, it's almost a no brainer. If well, you can, if you can figure out what, what an actual solution looks like. Let's let's, uh, you could see a hub and spoke system, but the, the, the hubs are city, not like, they don't go to conveyor this conveyor belt wouldn't go to every no uh, major warehouse in the city it'd go to one spot and then one people spot. would have to you know use yeah, their hydrogen the trucks to pick up yeah yeah last mile kind of thing but you're eliminating those in trucks on the highway which is awesome because i'm seeing way more transport trucks than normal um, and that could potentially help with traffic as well obviously uh, climate reducing emissions but yeah I think there's something here. I don't think it obviously it's not a conveyor, but something I think there's a there's 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 a good concept here. Yeah, and they were talking about autonomous carts. Yeah. So that you can kind of see on this picture here, I guess it's in a tunnel. There's these robotic carts with a whole bunch of stuff in them going, I guess, both ways. They're, you're on a conveyor belt like the airport, I guess, the airport conveyor belts. Mm -hmm. um, that you stand on to move along. Um, so it's not what I had in mind when I first thought of this because I'm thinking above the ground we could do I'm something with maglev. Costos, yeah. yeah, if it's underground, you can do a lot more from a ha have it closer to the destinations. It's just a question of that's a lot more money to build each tunnel. Yeah, yeah. So we'll have to see. We're talking about Tokyo's putting this in, but I think, right? Japan, yeah. Japan. Uh, I think, yeah. Japan, yeah. Yeah, it's a transport and tour minister in Japan says, I'm not sure if it's of all of Japan or a province. Uh, they're, look, they're, help, they're looking to help reduce greenhouse gas emissions by doing this. Um, and they're put a call to private companies to help fund the project. So, it, wow, that was amazing. See you later, alligator.